Hello community! Today, today we're gonna fine tune a brand new vision language model. And this is a real small, tiny little, small vision language model. And you know what? It's completely open source. We know everything about it. And there's a beautiful new code just 15 hours ago. It was updated here by Hugging Face, some stable code implementation. They give you here the complete notebook. And you know what? You can run it here on Colab and maybe you can even run it here on your local machine. So you see, the code is rather easy. You just have hugging face, then you have your normal LoRa implementation, and then you just load here a very specific data set, a visual question and answer version 2 data set. You do a little bit of pre-processing for the text and for the image. And then you have a trainer, and we use here the hugging face trainer implementation. And you see, this is all the code there is. Then you train it, that's it, and ready. So it couldn't be easier. Yeah, and you can publish, of course, your model. So this is all the code. This is a ready notebook for you to fine tune a vision language model. But you know what? This is such a beautiful vision language model that we should understand what it is. So let's go here. We go to hugging face. We go to image text to text and we go to trending. And here you see it hugging face here as small vision language model instruct. And you see updated just 14 hours ago by Hugging Face. And it's so free that it's beautiful. We can really use this. And if you never had a vision language model, this is the model to start. This is the open model where you have every knowledge and you can do it and you have the code to really fine tune it and even to evaluate it and pre-train it. So let's have a look. If we go there and we say here, for example, small vision language model, you see we have now four new vision language model. We have the base model. We have the instruction tuned model. We have the instruction tuned and DPO aligned model. Plus we have here a synthetic data set tuned model. So let's have a look. It starts real easy because if you go there in July of this year, this was introduced in Hugging Face, blazingly fast and remarkable, powerful language model. And of course, we all started with language model. And they had small models with 135 million, 360 million, and then 1.7 billion parameters. And you can run this on almost every machine. Now, they already said, hey, small language model that are really open, that we can operate on local devices, this could be the future. And they give us even the pre-training data set. So we know exactly on what they have been trained. So the first version had a mixed role here version. And then here for the fine tuning, they give you exactly the data. They give you the performance and then the data correlation. So we know exactly on what data. So beautifully, we can, with the knowledge of the pre-trained data, now optimize our fine tuning. All the performance data, which is great. And of course you have here, if you go to Hugging Face Small Language Model, you have here everything for Language Model 2. But we today, we're especially interested here in Vision Language Model. So we go to Hugging Face Textbook Research. Here you have all the information that you need here for the data set, the, the corpus and then the language model and then the language model version 2 and then the vision language model and here we are now so let's have a closer look now you have to understand that the base model that they built was of course hugging face own edifix now edifix now in version 3 was built of course on a llama model on an 8 billion free trainable parameter llama model if you want to know more about this version here of course, perfectly compatible with all the Hugging Face Transformer installation. Edifix was here a beautiful open multimodal model, except arbitrary sequences of images and text input to produce here whatever you need. Developed by Hugging Face multimodal Apache 2 version. Isn't this beautiful? And it is so open that we knew everything about how it was pre-trained, how it was fine-tuned, everything that we are looking for. You have to complete code if you want to further tune it. Everything is available for you because it is not a proprietary model. 
Now, if you are looking here for code, this is easy. Just hold on. Yep. So here we have it here under fine tuning. Here you have exactly here our vision language model for the fine tuning. As I told you just 15 hours ago, now you understand why we have here Edifix 3. And this is simply the code for your data, for your personal application that you fine tune the model according to your wishes. If you want to have more code base, you just go to Hugging Face here for the Transformer Library. And you go here for other models. Okay, you need a little bit more of an infrastructure. But if your model name, you can have here different models. And if you want here the Lama 3.211B Vision Instruct that you further supervised fine tune, this is the simple code for you. You see, just some lines of code and you can fine tune your own vision language model. Now, let's see this in action. And I simply go here to Spaces and we have it here, our small vision language model. And I uploaded here an image and it just said, describe the content and tell me the mood of this image. No? And you can have what's called now an assistant prefix, okay? <laughs> and I say, hey, if you discover here a kind of a sensitive topic to humans, like, you know, hospital or healthcare, so some, some sensitive topics, hey, be kind and gentle as an ER in your reply. So this were my system prompt instruction if you want. And then you have here the output. And this is so nice because sometimes you need here a textual description of the visual content so that this textual description can be further analyzed by your next AI system. And in most cases, somehow your AI agent will be text-based. So beautiful transfer from image to text content. But let's have a look what in my case here of my thumbnail of my last video, what is now here, the performance that you get a feeling for this. So I get here, the image depicts here a futuristic scene in what appears to be an advanced medical facility. In this setting, there are several elements that contribute to a surreal atmosphere. In the foreground is dominated by two main objects, a robot and a human lying on bed. Robot stands prominently at the left side of the frame, facing towards the viewers, right? It has a sleek white body with metallic detailing, suggesting it might be some form of an AI or robotic assistance system. Its head features large eyes and mouth openings, which should test it has been programmed for communication purposes. Okay, <laughs> this is an interpretation. The robot holds a tablet and has displaying here various digital information, such as graph and charts. Okay. This implies that the robot could serve multiple functions like data analysis or providing support during treatment session. For such a tiny, tiny, tiny little vision language model that is completely open and you can tune to your likings, to your task, I think not bad. Background in the contrast to the immediate foreground, the background shows part of a cityscape viewed from high above. There are tall buildings illuminated against the night sky filled with stars, indicating either daytime hours before sunset or nighttime when artificial light thing would suffice. Structures appear modern, well-maintained, hinting at technological advancement within the depicted environment. Now to the text element here, as also is a text-to-text, -text, and they say, okay, at the top center portion of the image, AI and healthcare is written in bold capital letters followed by smaller text reading, and hospitals, below this title, another section contains the subtitle Cancer and AI, further emphasizing themes related to healthcare technology integration into cancer treatment. Except that I think to remember that this AI and healthcare and hospital is all in the same font size, I think real nice. And then we also, I didn't even ask, you know, it's just describe the content and the mood. This is all I ask. And I get even back here and interpretative analysis. This vivid depiction likely represents how AI technology can enhance traditional healthcare practices significantly. Herein lies potential implications where machine take care, take over certain tasks traditionally performed by humans, thereby improving efficiency while reducing errors associated with manual human processes. Such scenarios highlight not only a technical aspect, but also ethical consideration 
around automation versus human intervention in clinical settings. To summarize, the image represent, presents here a scenario involving both robots, likely used for assisting patients, and discussion about integrating artificial intelligence into healthcare systems specifically focused on cancer treatment management. This blend underscores the transformative power of combining cutting-edge technology with medical expertise to improve the patient outcomes. Do you know, I couldn't have formulated it any better. So, take your image, go there, this is free, you can experience this yourself, upload your image and see if this smile is really great for your specific task. Of course, as always, I have here a recommendation and I would say here, this is such a beautiful informative blog, you know, from Hugging Face. And they tell you we have a blog here explaining everything. You can try the demo we just did. You have a fine tuning recipe and you also have here a transformer integration for a DPO alignment. But of course, you can go with PPO, reinforcement learning, whatever you like. So this is a beautiful open model, Apache 2.0, small vision language model, instruct, synthetic, base, and now also instruct and DPO aligned for particular jobs where you need here safeguards into place. And I just think this is amazing. Now, if you want to read here the complete documentation published today, November 26, 2024, those are the beautiful authors. So thank you to Hugging Face to providing this to us, to the community, open source, free of charge, that we can really use this as a building block to build our own vision language model, small but yet mighty. They give you here a real nice idea in the ecosystem where they position here their system. So you see here, you know from Google, Polyjama, I have here different videos on how to find you and also this. And then we talked about Q1, Q1 2.5 already. And of course, there was this proper, not this open source uh, Edifix 3, 8 billion, but based on the Llama. But now they moved away from the Llama and I think this is something that makes me excited if you move away from a Llama model and the explanation will come in tomorrow's video. So they show you here what they want. They go for here, better performance and it is cheaper and faster and it is open source. Yeah, Polygerma 3B, Moon Dream 2, Q1 2, Vision Language model. And they explain here everything from the capability, the architecture, the benchmark, the memory, the throughput. If you want here all the details, beautiful. I just want to show you here, where is it here? The memory. And I think if you work locally and you are kind of this GPU poor, you see here the GPU RAM. And yeah, of course, smaller is better if you just have here a very limited GPU. You see for those models, you need quite some RAM here in your memory, 23 gigabyte. But you see here with those models, you are here in the best case scenario, of course, at about five or polygamma here at six to seven here. So this gives you an idea where to position this new hugging face small vision language model in its four versions. Great. Throughput, beautiful video processing pipeline code, everything is available to you, but I want to show you, here it is. And they say it here, finally today, we replaced Llama with here their own small language model to 1.7b as the language backbone. And this is what I'm excited about because I think this is an intelligent step. Yeah, they tell you here, aggressively compressed here the patched visual information by reducing the information nine times using pixel shuffle strategy. Now they say we use patches here of a little bit higher dimensionality. Yeah, for whatever reason. And to change the vision backbone to use here the shape optimized ziglip with patches here and the inner patches of 14 times 14. 
read the documentation if you are into this. I think it's a real interesting model. It is so beautiful. And they follow here the architecture of EDFX3. We have some beautiful argumentation and documentation why EDFX3 has this particular structure on the performance data of EDFX3. But if you look here, I think that's great. Here you have all the different benchmarks. And as you can see here in the first row, this is our new model, Q1, yeah, Polyjama Moon Dream. So you can compare for your particular task which model you are going to choose next. Anything, this is it? Anything left to do? No, because I will give you here the link here to this Python notebook in the description of this video. And we already had a look at the code, tested, it works. Just import here your specific fine-tuning training data, have a look, let it run. We have a version that it runs here on a free call-up, so there's nothing holding you back to experience your first fine-tuning here of a complete open-source vision language model that is transparent, that we understand, that is provided not by a global corporation that is interested in your data, but by hugging face, it runs on consumer GPUs. And yes, of course, we have to accept it has some quantized uh, low rank adaptation happening to reduce, to compress the model a little bit further that it fits on a consumer GPU. But otherwise, if you want to do this the first time, I think this is the perfect example and this is the perfect time to enter the area of fine-tuning your vision language model. I hope you enjoyed it. Please follow Hugging Face. Please give to Ortus, who invented this 40i community alike. Maybe you follow them on the different platforms. And it simply would be great to see you in my next video.